watch you guys today we'll take a look at some of the best free tools to securely delete your files in windows now many pc users believe that when you delete a file or empty your recycle bin you're securely deleting any of those files or folders from your computer but that just isn't true and i'm going to show you a way to securely delete these files once and for all so people can't recover them this could be your sensitive information like banking details or any sort of photos that you might have that you might want to keep permanently erased when you delete them and i'll show you how to do it in this video with free software but first let's have a quick word from today's video sponsor cd key sales if you're looking for a cheap windows 10 pro or cheap windows 11 pro oem key then check out the links in the video description there's also office keys in there as well go over to their website and create yourself an account and then basically you can purchase one of these cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM keys to activate your version of Windows. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order and you will get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD key sales. So once you submit your order, you can use PayPal to pay for your uh, product. They will then send you the key and then all you need to do then is head over to Windows activation and activate your version of Windows. Okay, so let's get back to the video. What we're going to do here is first take a look at two bright sparks. This is a pretty useful little application called Delete on Click. You can either download the single tool, which is Delete on Click, or you can download the complete suite and basically use that. And there's a bunch of different tools on there. It's completely free. You don't get bombarded with adverts. But once it's installed, all you need to do is right click on a folder and you should see Secure Delete there on your context menu. So right click on it and click on the secure delete and this will open up another little prompt box where it's going to give you a message now this message is telling me about an ssd that it's detected that i've got a file on and i'm going to be deleting it on there so we're going to click ok here now to move on to the next step which is basically giving you an option to secure delete this file or folder and it's saying you sure you want to continue going to say yes it will say that this file is going to be non-recoverable once we use this method so if you want to try and get it back it's going to be gone once that takes its time to erase that file, you should see the actual folder disappear on the screen. And there you go, it's now gone. And that has now been securely erased on your system. Next up, we've got Eraser. Now this is gonna allow you to permanently delete files and folders on your computer. This also allows you to empty the recycle bin using uh, Eraser as well. And it does have many different types of overwrites that you can use and random data, which will allow it to uh, completely delete files and folders from your computer. This also means it makes it impossible to recover data when you delete it using this method. There is a right click context menu option here. So we're gonna go ahead and use that one here. And you can see here, are you sure you want to delete the selected item? You've got some options on here as well, which I'll quickly show you. And you can see here, there's a bunch of options on here. So on the actual application itself, you can run it immediately, run manually or run on restart or reoccurring. So depending on how you want to set that up and uh, you can uh, set up a schedule here for this actual uh, file. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to delete it uh, right now. So I'm going to go back to the task and what we can do here is leave it on run immediately. Click OK here and say yes and straight away it will remove that folder from the actual drive. Now, even if there's content inside of that folder, it will shred that uh, folder and file inside and it will completely make it impossible to recover. Now, they do have the application as well, which you can open up here, and there's plenty of options available inside here. This is where you can uh, change the erase settings on here for the secure erase method. You can see it's on Gutterman 35 passes, and there's a bunch of them on here which are military grade as well. And this will make it impossible to recover data once it's uh, deleted using this method. You can also uh, erase drive methods here. You can see it here. And you also have random uh, data source as well. You can change that as well. And you can even check mark this down here where it says replace erased file with the following files and allow plausible uh, deniability. And you can do that right here as well. And basically, it's a real good little program that's been around for a very long time, since the XP days, and uh, it's still going strong in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Moving on to Moo File Shredder here. This is another one you can download. Uh, you can choose which one you prefer. There's plenty of them to choose from. These are just a snippet of some of the tools that you can use to erase files for free 
on Windows 10 and Windows 11 and other versions of Windows as well. You can see here we do have a method which we can change here. So you've got vaporize, which is vanish it. You've got extra careful and shred once, and you've got some other ones on here as well. Into ashes is the other one, which is extreme. So depending on what level you want to set yours to, you can set it to this and then just drag in the folder or file into this location and it will allow you to actually delete it. You can see it as a keep on top here so we can open a folder up with the contents in and just drag it into this location. It's going to say, are you sure you want to permanently erase the dropped file? We're going to say yes here and it will go off and vaporize as they call it here or vanish that file, which means it's going to be impossible to recover. And once that's done, you can see here it's now completed. So it's quite quick at deleting that file. It's now deleted. And there is files inside those folders. So I just wanted to show you that. And uh, on the top of the menu here, you've got some other options available, which is language and things like that. So if you've got a, a different type of language you speak, you can change it inside here. So it's not just for English. And we also have the options available for the algorithm that it uses. So depending on what one you use will determine on how aggressive it's going to delete it. 20 times is vanish it. And you can see here, you've got another one here, which is this one, which is quite a complex uh, method of changing names. Uh, also, the timestamps and things like that as well. And depending on what one you uh, choose will determine how long it takes to delete that file and that content. Next up, we've got good old bleach bit. Now, this one is a pretty decent tool because it doesn't only just delete files and folders and shred them. It actually does files and folders and data on your computer as well by removing all junk uh, traces on your computer. You can either download the installer or the portable app, depending on what you want to choose. But this one shreds uh, files, folders, and also it does all the free space and everything else on your computer as well. You can see all the areas here that it covers, your browser and a bunch of other areas as well. The more you check mark here down the bottom will determine how long it takes. If you start going proper uh, down the bottom on the system level of things like wiping free space and things like that, it will take a long time. I'm just going to show you a shred, a folder and a file. You can see we do have the overwrite uh, contents files to prevent recovery. Going to put that check mark in there. And what we're going to do is quickly do a quick Folder shred here so you can see it in action. But it does do just like, say, for instance, C Cleaner, it will remove junk off the computer and also it will erase all that data as well to make it non recoverable. So let's go ahead and run this one here and click delete. And you'll see it's very quick and it's now done. And that folder is now gone into oblivion and you'll never get that back because it has been overwritten and deleted multiple times. So that's how quick that is. And that is bleach bit. Again, you can run this, like I said, on your form history, passwords, search engine results and site preferences. All your passwords will be removed from your browsers. You know, you may name it, it will remove it. Next up, we've got wipe file. This is a nice little program. I like this little one because it's small and portable. You don't have to install it. And uh, it's got multiple different languages here. And it's a portable application. So I'm going to open this up and you can see it will tell me, do I want to open this up as portable? I'm going to say yes. And once we've done this, we can see now this is the little application right here. So you might be thinking because it's small, it's not going to be that great, but it has quite a bit of power to it. It's got a load of different options. I think about 15 different options available to you here if you want to secure erase folders and files inside uh, this program. So let me go ahead and show you how this works. We'll select just any one of these right here because it doesn't matter. And you've got the edit to add files and folders, or you can click on the icons, or you can just drag and drop whatever you want to do. So there we have the actual white file here, and you can randomize the date and time if you want to, which is always advisable. And again, we can go ahead and uh, take a look at login here, errors only, and we've got some other stuff on here. So let's go ahead and put this into action and see how it works. So I'm going to leave that as is. And what we're going to do is open up the application here and open up a folder. And we're going to just drag this into this location or you can actually uh, navigate to it. Let me go ahead and just drag it in here. It doesn't have always on top, uh, which means you do have to sort of have it half and half like this. But once that's done, we can now click on the red cross, which is going to securely erase that folder with the contents inside it. You can add them in up the top here as well if you don't want to drag and drop them. So let's go ahead and it's going to say, are you sure? 
you want to overwrite this and delete it and we're going to say yes and away you go it's now done so that is the wipe file which is quite powerful all in all there's quite a few of them out there to choose from these are just a selection of some of my favorite ones that you can use for free so you don't need to pay for any of these files they are free to use and you can do them as many times as you like so if you've got files or folders on your computer remember just right clicking and deleting does not remove it from your computer you need to use a secure erase method like this to remove it completely and stop people from using recovery software to recover that data if you ever sold your pc anyway my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video has been some sort of use to you just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members i really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.